we're back at the anchor desk. Uh, that was a very nice ceremony that uh, was conducted in Reading. Uh, we have with us Diane Wilson of the Reading Antiquarian Society, and uh, she has some things she wants to talk about. Thanks so, so much. <laughs> well, we're really excited to be here at, um, at the Fall Fair. Um, the Reading Antiquarian Society is a group of Reading residents who are um, devoted to increasing awareness about our town's history and maintaining historical um, artifacts and also running the Parker Tavern, which is our, um, I think, our town treasure. The Parker Tavern it was built in 1694. It's available for the public to come and tour. It's a great example of 17th and 18th century architecture. Um, we hope that people will stop by and see. So that's really what we're here for today is to kind of encourage them to come down. Is it open out. today? It and is open today. So we're doing tours from 12 to 5. That's great. It's adjacent to Washington Park. And if you stop in, you'll actually get to see an exhibit, which includes a cannonball that we recently acquired, which we believe was, the, the provenance suggests that it was part of Redding's participation on April 19, 1775. Wow, that's pretty good. So if you huh? stop mm -hmm. in and take a look, um, Everett Blodgett is down there. He'd be more than happy to tell everyone um, the story of the cannonball and the history, as well as show them around the tavern. That's great, that's great. and and. Um, what other activities do you, does the Antiquarian Society generally get involved with? Sure. Oh. Well, our mission is to make sure that people are aware of the history of the town as well as um, historical practices. So we, uh, in addition to doing colonial reenactments on the grounds, do exhibits on quilting. We've done um, gravestone tours. We've also done um, morning jewelry lectures where people can learn about bringing a piece and learn about the history of morning jewelry. Um, and really, we're looking to continue that programming. In addition to the things that we do throughout the course of the year, for a very, very long time, we've been responsible for doing the third grade academic tours. Oh, so yeah. uh, almost every, I want to say every child, but I've met quite a few people my age who say, I remember going to the Parker Tavern when I was in third grade. So it's been a long-standing tradition here in town when you um, are in third grade and learning about your town's history that you come to the tavern and you get a chance to experience it firsthand. That's great. Yes. How did you become involved with the uh, Parker Tavern? So um, I am a lifetime Reading resident with a small hiatus when I was first married. Oh. Um, my father was very in active in colonial reenactment during the bicentennial. Um, and then continued on with Reading Minutemen and Militia and then the uh, artillery, restored the cannon that had been at Parker Tavern um, in the basement for many, many years. And he and his team took it out and, and toured around the state with it. Um, and it's now back on the grounds at the Parker Tavern in, a, in its own shed where you can kind of go in and see a example of a cannon that would have been used in warfare. Um, so it just stayed with me when I came yeah. back to town. Um, this, I of course, is the of famous it. Charlie Peacock yes. that she speaks <laughs> of. Yes, for sure. But there are a great many men that, that, yeah. that I got to know. Bruce Morang, who in, okay. in his book, The Town That Went to War. Um, so that's all part of you know my upbringing. Um, but more importantly, now here is, is a resident of Reading again for almost 20 years now on the second on my second stint. Um, just making sure that we're good stewards of what we have. And, and so many people don't realize that the Parker Tavern isn't owned by the town. It's actually privately owned by the Antiquarian Society. It's maintained by the Antiquarian Society. So yeah. membership and contributions um, that we receive through, through the public are really you. what help what? us. So, you know, we'd love for people to come down and see how they this might be able to participate. Okay. That's okay. great. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I've been here since 84 and I've never been to the Parker Tavern, so <laughs> oh. it's definitely something that it I'm going to put treat. on my to-do It is a treat. It's a treat. Uh, it's open until uh, Sundays, 12 to 5, until the end of October. Okay. It's not heated, so yep. as we go into the winter, it will close. I, th I actually met a couple that was on uh, Haven Street earlier today. They said, we've lived here 40 years and we've never <laughs> been to the tavern, so you've still got a oh. little bit of time. <laughs> okay. Well, thank so, you very much. Thank you for, for having me. Thanks for coming on. by, Diane. Nice to see you.